Okay, so the next villain I'm going to do is probably it's a really it's a he's a pretty recent villain that recently appeared. I guess you could call him a villain, but so far he's pretty much given that aura around that yeah he's a villain. So which is everyone's favorite character? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's Kamisada one rejector. Okay, okay, so him. The reason why I'm doing him next, I'm including him in this, is because there's a lot of controversy around a lot of people, that it's like, a lot of people just flat out hate him, some others really like him, you know, I guess I'm in the middle, where it's like, I can see why you hate him, and I can see why you like him, to where it's like, oh, he saves people, he's like, oh my, I can't really see, he's not a flat out, just completely copy, carbon copy of Toma, I feel like, I mean, there's some things around him that make him, I you know, different, you know, I mean, he's the, basically the version of Toma to where he could have ended up, you know, maybe if he didn't lose it, if he didn't lose his memories, he maybe he would have ended up like him, I don't know, personally, but, you know, maybe that's what would have happened to Toma if he never left his town, you know, he started, oh, all these girls are just floating towards me, me. <laughs> And, uh, yeah, but where, where's, where's Kamisato's parents in all of this? That'd be kind of interesting, actually. I want to hear his backstory. Like, I want to see what happened to his parents. But did he just water check them? That'd be kind of messed up, actually. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so a lot of people say, oh, his appearance is just really dumb. It, it just it ended the whole magic god thing, and... To me, I was upset at first, but it's like, if you really, really look at it, I mean, yes, I'm still better on the fact that the magic gods were kind of hyped up, and they're just going to immediately, immediately just get warped to another dimension, and we may not see them again, but personally, I feel like, you know, the magic gods were a little bit too OP for Toma to fight, so by himself, along with Accelerator, along with Musica, along with pretty much anybody, so, I kind of felt like, okay, so maybe his point is to where it's like, oh, he absorbed the magic gods, and, you know, we'll see them again later on in the series. Where, well, I feel like Kamisato is going to have to die at some point in order for everything to get released. Maybe that's how that works, I don't know. Or maybe when his arm gets cut off, everyone will appear again that he's absorbed. So, you know, there's a good chance that may happen. But, personally, I kind of feel like Kamisato is, I'm not going to say he's a carbon copy of Toma, because he isn't. The only thing that he and Toma have in common is they save people. You know, I guess when you look at Kamisato, he isn't exactly, you know, a ray of shun sunshine, you know. He isn't good, he isn't bad either. But it's like, the way he kind of gets portrayed is a guy that's just gone through all this crap that he didn't really want to go through. You know, it's like, think about it if for some reason you have this, you would, your girls don't talk to you and you like it, and it's like you get this power and all of a sudden girls start talking to you. To me, I felt like the whole thing with, oh, I walk around school and, and we, don't, we it, and me and this girl look at each other or not, and my childhood friend, we don't talk, but I got this arm and, and they start talking to me and I hate it. To me, I thought that was a little dumb. Personally, personally, it's like maybe coming out of one of the normal life, you know, he didn't want to really, he just wanted to keep those relationships that he had with those girls. That's fine, I guess. But you know, I kind of felt like that was kind of dumb, like the only dumb part about him that's uh, that was kind of weird. But you know, you have to get around the fact that I guess Kami Sato's true purpose is to be a pillar that Toma has to get through. You know, and maybe he'll get better on this series. Maybe we'll see some of his backstory. Maybe he'll develop as a villain, you know, because he's a pretty good villain, I feel. A, a potential to be a good villain. To where some of you may think, oh no, he's a piece of crap, he should die. Honestly, I feel like he is going to die. But, you know, I mean, you have to make do with what he is because it's like, I felt, I feel like Kamisato's true purpose may be. To like, maybe he ends up working with Alistair at some point with his faction. I mean, to be honest, if, if, if all of you don't, okay, let's just say all of you don't like, okay, would it, wouldn't it be great just to have him and his faction 
for the sake of him and his faction fighting Toba and his faction. Wouldn't that be epic? Can we all agree that that would be kind of epic? Just just him and his faction fighting Toma and his faction. Can we all agree on that? You know, I feel like that would be a pretty epic fight. But, yeah, I mean, I... I me, Kamisato's role as a guy that destroys, like, sanctuaries for other people, like, accelerates a part of Misa to school. I feel like he has the potential to really do some damage, and I... I just keep in mind, this is, is the first volume he, volume he was in. And we may not see him again after this one, since, you know, we got pretty banged up by Noken and Toma, so... You know, maybe next time we see him, he'll be a little bit better. Maybe he'll do some stuff that really impress us, or... You would think absorb defeating some magic guys and make us impressed, but yeah, I mean, to me, Kamisato is kind of like a good challenge for Toma. You know, I mean, if you really think about it, every person Toma's fought, villain-wise, has usually changed. You know, go, been good and it just kind of rejected their own way, which I thought was always kind of annoying. But they didn't. I guess it didn't really bother me that much. But with Kamisato, I guess it's gonna teach Toma. I can't save everybody. I can't. You know, some people just lost completely, and all this stuff, you know. Their ideals are different, and it's kind of cool how Kimichi's kind of making them the polar opposite, kind of the polar opposites of each other, except both of them. I guess what I'm trying to say is Kamisato saves girls so they can be on his side. I don't really think he actually cares for them. We haven't really seen that, I guess. But he just kind of talks in a way like, I just don't give a crap about them. I just want to do, I just want to call the magic gods. You know, but I could be wrong, you know, I mean, whatever. Just to me, Thomas saved more than just girls. He saved guys, too. So, you know, whatever. But personally, I feel like Kamisato is kind of... He was kind of judged harshly from the beginning, you know. I mean, I mean, I I have to, I give characters time, you know. I don't judge a character on the first anime episode. I judge them as long as I see them in the series. So, to me, I feel like Kamisato does have room for improvement as the series is going on, and I really do hope he gets better. And even though I do kind of like him, you know, I mean, he's kind of like that track kid, I guess, kind of, even though his his whole weird thing with the girls is kind of weird, but whatever, I mean, I still kind of like them in a sense, you know, a lot of people are saying, oh, he's just, he's, he's just a normal high school kid like Toma, well, I mean, you have to give Toma, like, someone to fight against for the final arc, I guess, but whatever, <laughs> and I guess we find out that, you know, it's not just a, a special power isn't lingering, Within World Rejector, so you know, I guess that kind of shows. That, oh, hey, something must have got in well, in Imagine Breaker as soon as it like hit Toma or something. But whatever, personally. Uh, but yeah, Cody said I feel like has room for potential, but right now he's fair. You know, I don't think he's bad. I don't think he's good. He's fair. You know, I mean, eh. <laughs> a lot of people don't like him. I mean. And still, he's just kind of judge harshly. But yeah, I do feel like that sooner or later he is going to die. And maybe that'll just kind of give Toma a really good lesson, some development. That he can't save everybody, you know. He could cheat try it, though. And maybe, who knows, maybe Kamisato will, like, take Misaka ha hostage. I'm a <laughs> maybe, I don't know. He's just, he's going to be a sanctuary destroyer. I mean, come on. I mean, he may see some people die. Who knows? But, yeah, I mean... Also, Dark Matter, you know, I mean, I don't know why I'm bringing him up, but it's like, I don't know, it's a whole thing, the conversation between him and Noki was kind of weird, but, yeah, I mean, Kakin could maybe join up with him, I don't know, you know, that'd be kind of epic, at least, you know, but, but, yeah, that'd be kind of sad if, like, immediately Kakin just got revealed, and he's like, oh my gosh, she's back, but he's, he gets immediately absorbed by Roll Ejector, I think that'd be kind of... Trolling, but whatever, I'm not, I'm not gonna think like that, but yeah, Kamisato, hopefully in the future, he'll be better, and when he dies, it'll be honorable. I do think Kamisato will die, personally. But yeah, and you, if you if you notice in the volume, if you notice in that volume, uh, when Kamisato hits Toma's uh, fist, and he tries to absorb it, notice how, like, he, he didn't, like, get any care. Notice how he didn't, like... <laughs> 
like, get treated for his wounds. He just basically got left there. Which kind of shows you how Toma, Toma was going to do to him. Like, you could say, oh no, maybe Toma, like, was trying to make the dragons or whatever resist hurting him. But, I mean, if you really think about it, he's done it before. Before the, it ever even tried to attack anything. So, I mean, I think Toma wanted to actually kill Kamisato. You know, it makes sense. Because someone told me this. I'm like, did you notice that, like, Kamisato's injuries weren't even treated? Did you notice that, like, he immediately was saying how, you know, like, the thing attacked him and he, like, I guess escaped? Well, he, the guy was telling me that, like, he didn't get treated at all. He didn't even, like... It's, I, I just kind of felt like Tomo was going to kill him. Like, trying to kill him. You know, it just kind of makes sense. You could say he escaped. But it's like, the way he looked kind of made it like he... I doubt he could run from it. So, so I don't know. I feel like Tomo was uh, a little um, earning his nickname. You know, the guy who purifies gods and slays demons, I think he was becoming that. So, maybe that's a sign Toma's um, uh, getting a little monstrous there, personally, to me, anyway. I don't know about you guys, you could say differently, but that's just me, you know? I mean, you could say he just ran away, you could say he escaped somehow. I mean, to me, I felt like his injuries were lit too gravely to actually escape, but, I don't know, to me, I just felt like he just kind of got left there, and Toma just went back to his dorm after his it buddies just mauled him, used them as a punching bag, but whatever, you know. Kamisato, I hope he's a good character in the future, and maybe he'll be better, I don't know, but whatever, you, what do you guys think? Do you hate him? Do you love him? Do you want to see him die? To me, I feel like he is going to die at some point, but that's a discussion for another day, whenever that happens. So, I'll see you guys next time. World well, Rejector is, as I have to admit, it's a pretty cool power, but, you know, the guy, the thing attached to the, him was kind of... Yeah, explain that! I want to... I want to... I hope we... Whenever Imagine Breaker gets, you know, its whole background and things with it, I hope we get to know, oh, World Rejector, how it chooses people, you know? I want to I know how that happens. But, yeah, I will... Well, didn't it explain it to us? No, it didn't. Did it? I can't remember that volume. Yeah, I don't, th I don't think I'd explain it, but, yeah, so, whatever, I'm dragging this video on. So, yeah, leave your comment in the comment section, you rascals, don't leave it in the, on the video, don't leave it on the, okay, whatever, I'm, I'm liking this, okay, goodbye.